Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark. I'm the Mediocre Modeler. Uh, I want to do an update on my uh, under 1,000 subscriber group build hosted by uh, Mike over at Model Speed Shop. Um, but first, I want to do a shop card shout out, and then I got a couple stash ads. Um, so this guy over here. Hot Rods Model Shop, Marcus, good guy, good channel, and, uh, you know, he has, he's a really good guy, man, and uh, he does some good shout-outs, shout he's in the NASCAR, uh, he's working on a um, uh, Earnhardt car right now, and uh, he's just a, a good all-around guy, go check out his channel, uh, tell him Mark sent you, and, uh, you know, uh, check out his content. He's got a few videos and, uh, you know, some really cool builds. Anyways, I'm going to put you up here, brother. Thank you for the uh, kind words on the back. And after this show, I'm going to put you up on what I call the ever-growing wall of inspiration. So, for our first stash ad... Picked up Oop, this right here, <laughs> Kentucky. Hey, Marcus, <laughs> gotta love Kentucky, brother. I was there in the uh, army. I was at Fort Knox, and I just I remember how you know beautiful green it was. You know, uh, next model I got here is the. Atlantis, Tom McEwen's Mongoose Dragster. It's a 132nd scale. No gluing. This is uh, going to be a cool kit, you know. Uh, slump Buster, something cool like, you know, uh, the uh, small scale group build or 24-hour um, group build. or. But always nice to have that in the stash. All right, next up, this is uh, a really, really cool kit. You know, I just, uh, when I saw it, I was like, man, I got to get, get me this thing. So this is the uh, AMT Ertl 125th scale Monster Rods Glow in the Dark Creepy T. I love the box art on this. Uh, you know, I would love to do a diorama you know of uh this thing coming out of a, a cemetery or something that that would be pretty pretty cool <laughs> yeah but i saw this and i'm like man i gotta have this it's just so cool i love it so uh i got uh those are it but that's it for the models uh i got some uh i need some tape because i'm gonna be trying a uh custom paint job on the uh, left coast uh, model car group build by Paul uh, let me see I got some uh, paint clear green and light green XF 15 uh, okay so for the model this Hot Wheels kit, I'm not doing it in the Hot Wheels theme. Uh, I'm going to do it. If you noticed in this video, at the beginning it was yellow, green, and red. 
So I'm, I'm doing this in the rat fink. This is going to be the uh, rat fink charger. So here's the frame. I got that painted with uh, TS-86 to me a red, you know. And uh, looks pretty good. Got the, uh, the motor. I might do another coat. I don't know. But uh, same thing. TS-86. So I'm going to start assembling the motor if I don't paint it after this video. And then uh, call it a night, you know. Uh, here's another part of the uh, frame. Um, is the uh, floor pan got that spray pay, painted in uh, chrome aluminum looks pretty good and some more of the uh, interior panels yeah I just came out of a rattle can I'm going to be Trying to make the transition soon to just, you know, more airbrushing. But here's some of the uh, kit chrome. I, I used uh, um, flat clear to kind of dull down the, uh, the chrome a little bit. I still got to use panel liner on it. The headers, I chromed them out. I drilled out the ends look good um there's the other one there's some more of the uh it's still gassing out but uh the uh, frame interior frame transmission That's a uh, dark steel out of a rattle can. Uh, let me see. Front suspension. I used uh, clear green. Let that dry. And then I used um, uh, alcohol to get the uh, green back off of the uh, springs. There's a wheelie bars. Same thing in the green. I'm sticking with the uh, rat fink theme. Yeah. A few other interior pieces. There's the other uh, wheelie bar. The seat flat black and then I uh, hit it with uh, semi-gloss the back of it is um, chrome aluminum there's engine shrouds and uh, oil pan transmission pan Front and rear wheel backs, chrome aluminum. That exhaust manifold and uh, a magneto. Might go with the kit magneto. It looks pretty good. Uh, still got a little touch-up painting. Not touch-up, but uh, detail painting on the... Uh, Four point harness. There's a few other little parts. I'm not gonna, you know, bother showing you. They're just, you know, pretty basic. Um, the tires, though, they're uh, slick, so I uh, sanded them down to make them look like they're a little worn. So yeah, that looks good. Uh, 
And last but not least, the body. So the body is, I uh, sanded out the, the uh, mold lines and I might have a little one still right there. So I'm debating whether or not to sand it. I ran out of the uh, extreme lacquer paint and I picked some up today. So, yeah, I'll make that determination at a later date. So, guys, thank you for joining me and, uh, you know, leaving a like, a comment, and, uh, you know, subscribe. It's free to, to uh, subscribe. Anyways, uh, guys, girls, thank you very much for all your support. Um, have a good week. I, uh, I'll probably do one more update this week, and uh, until then, be safe and peace out.